and welcome to another episode of Wyverns and Weirdos. As you may have noticed by our layout, we have a returning guest hey. this Yay, week. Yay, Joe's back! Johanna, aka Rook, will be making an appearance at some point this episode. Mm. Yes. Uh, assuming that my players don't decide to just derail uh, <laughs> for the next two to three hours. I mean, anything Sorry, could Johanna. happen. You better uh, find me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, which it's quite ironic that you're joining us uh, on the day that you are considering uh, in real time. Today is the day that uh, the first episode that you were ever in. Yeah, airs. that's right. So, yeah, perfect timing. Yeah, it's which great timing. gives you listeners an insight mm. into just how far ahead we record these episodes. <laughs> yeah. um, soon we're going to have a season break and we're going to have a bit, we're going to start having the episodes a bit closer. Yes. Um, as we come into the new year, the episodes will be a bit closer to, like, probably about, a, probably still further, though, than they were right at the start of the... <laughs> yeah, you'll kind of have to sure. deal with that, because um, otherwise, who knows what would happen. <laughs> but but you might have gotten some stuff that, that was filmed a bit closer to its release time. I don't know yet. I've still got a plan... Uh, I've still got to finalise plans for the finale, let alone uh, the, the in-between stuff. Boy. <laughs> um, it's exciting a minute here at Will Ivans and Weirdos, that's for sure. Uh, all right. So, let us get started. Oh, any, just quickly, because um, we're, we're running a bit late and everyone's kind of bit a little bit tired. Big weekend. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but the big weekend, big day. Um, We're all a little so, bit peaky here today. So we might be slightly shorter episodes uh, <laughs> this week or slightly longer. And this episode, uh, this session only covers one episode. Who knows? Um, yeah. Uh, so uh, any announcements quickly? Plugs. Uh, yeah. Plugs. <laughs> plugs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, plugs. Yes. Pugs. Uh... Um, if, if it helps at all, I can I can tell you when this episode is projected to release, um, which is uh, the which is end of October, start of November. Oh boy! Uh, happy birthday to me! <laughs> hey. That's around when my birthday happy is. Birthday. birthday episode. <laughs> um, but not and really. you have to have advantage on everything in this One session. Shot special. Yes. <laughs> yes. Who knows? Happy Maybe that'll happen. Happy birthday to no, you. No, it's copyrighted. No. No, it's not. Happy that was actually, birthday <laughs> to you. That was actually you. determined in court last Happy year. Happy oh, birthday fantastic. to you. No, that, like, it's any it's not on you. That it, like. It's not on The claim birthday. is, the claim to copyright was illegitimate and it's in fact actually been around long enough to just be public domain. Good. Oh, fair enough. Nice. Uh, Thank you, public court system. Mm. Yeah. You did something uh, right, at least. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be, um, I think it's like in August, Laura and I will be, hopefully be cosplaying as Bertie and Rook to Gamacon. Yes. So um, we'll, we'll try to sick. post that on our Instagram. Yeah, we'll have some sick photos out for yeah. you. Yeah. Some good yeah. cosplay. If, if, if you remind me of that, I'll put it into the, the audio clip. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Jake, anything? Yeah. I have absolutely no plugs. You may continue. Yeah. <laughs> Laura. Uh, yeah, Bertie's Elixir, it's great. Also, I'm sick this episode, so Bertie is also sick now. Rook and Bertie have Yeah, polls. they're both sick now. It's yeah. happened between episodes. It's the disease of being really cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and-, and just quickly, sorry, uh, if you want to submit any art or anything mm. at all to uh, <laughs> us, if you've made anything for us, first of all, thank you. Amazing. You're spectacular mm. and you have my entire heart. Uh, but secondly, uh, hashtag Wyverns and Weirdos. That way we can yes. find it and uh, retweet it and stuff Shower like that. Shower your flaws, basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for us to search. And, um, yes, uh, we'll, we'll discuss this at some point. But I would love to also have a way to be able to legitimately put up, like, a gallery, like, somewhere online. Whether it's mm-hmm. as, like, an introductory or outro thing or something. But I think we need to discuss the the procedure. Yeah, that we're we'd love go to do with something that. with what you guys create yes. for us. So um, making that easier yes. for us to so find can, would be yeah. fantastic. And it'll make us easier to approach and credit you and all that. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Mm. 
<laughs> All right. So without further ado, let's jump into another episode of Wyverns and Weirdos. <laughs> And welcome back. <laughs> so, you did exactly what I did in the episode that just aired. <laughs> nice. So, <laughs> music. where we last left off, the party had basically just spent a lot of time shopping in, uh, in Dorham, but also anticipating a trip back to Wildshade to deal with... Uh, a, a cultish incursion um, at, at the behest of Cigar. So, uh, let's jump right into it. What do you guys want to do the next... Because I think we left in the evening? Uh, we, were, we were shopping. Yeah. So, I assume it was the evening. Yeah, yeah. I think we'd finished shopping. Um, I think you were going to find a tavern, but how? Hadn't decided. Yeah, yet. that's basically. I, I do want Bernie is gonna hang back when you guys leave, but um, you guys can decide what you're doing first. <laughs> well, Anya was just gonna head to the tavern, tavern. and yeah. Yeah. have a night. She's pretty keen to head on the next. So day, what? So. What were you deciding on tavern wise? The yeah, what are you guys doing? Where are you going? More luxurious. Luxurious. Oh right, that's what we were gonna do. We we're gonna live it up. Yeah. Do we want to live it up now that we got the moolah to do it? Well, that will be Bertie's plan, um, but yeah, yeah, most likely. Yeah, what are our luxury options, You can, uh, okay. yeah, why are you deciding? So, I'll, I'll da, be da, 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 da. Um, I can't remember Who, what we decided, but... So, roll, roll, me, roll me an investigation check, someone. And one person do it with advantage. Yeah, no, I wouldn't be the best you, at it. You, what's your investigation? It's I'm an pretty sure it's a negative one. Thing. I oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, no. I'm, I'm definitely doing this. I'm bad. definitely doing this. Yeah, you silly. I'm pretty sure you're great at investigation. So advantage. I've already got a 21 and the other one was not as good. So a 21. <laughs> a 21. 21. Okay. Yeah. So you, you, you very easily like you, because of the way uh, Bertie and to a lesser extent you dress and the fact that you've got these magic items um, that even compensates for the more, uh, the more practical uh, wilderness survival way that Anya dresses. <laughs> um, yeah, he doesn't you, have twigs in his hair. You're you're able to get into <laughs> you're you're able to at least get into the um the into high wall easily enough to gain access as, as like um, seasoned adventurers essentially. Um, so not every place would necessarily accept your patronage for for an overnight stay, but you manage to find. Um, Rados chosen um, a uh, so some might say blasphemous use of the god of paladins uh, name, um, but it it is uh, dedicated to serving um, rich adventurer clientele. Um, That's us. So, <laughs> so you don't for so one yes, night. You get you get all the luxury of. Of a posher, um, a posher establishment without the kind of tweety tweetiness of actually yeah of nobles. dealing with nobles. Yeah. Um, yeah although there are some nobles who will come in, but they're ones who kind of have more of a fin- yeah. of an affinity for it themselves. So one night in this place, including <laughs> food, oh uh, is going to set you each back. Uh, each uh, each fifteen gold pieces. Oh, that's oh, easy. Oh, oh, easy. That is chump change for one night. <laughs> yeah. 
I could not keep this up. <laughs> My income is very unpredictable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, so you, you guys have a night of luxury. Um, the food is scrumptious, imported in, um, like, the a, lo- a lot of the, even the local stuff is um, enhanced with various magics. Um, from what you gather, both from the the actual farming of it as well as the preparation um and it is it is the most delicious food you have ever had ever yes oh, even better than it, the other day yeah better and than yes. the, the, meal. the other day yes because that was magical in oh, its creation true. it was a nat 20 darby <laughs> oh yes the deer definitely With not honey. the mayonnaise um uh, <laughs> yeah um so, and and when you get to your rooms and you like that cost you you are each getting your own yeah. room like these so, are kind of the thank lower goodness. these are the lower end rooms here but they're still really posh rooms so, incredibly comfortable bedding there's e- there's even like um not obviously not all of you need to use these or or <laughs> use them to a varying extent but there's like um uh mannequin stand for your for armor oh great um there's there's a there's a finely crafted uh weapons rack um and hooks for for quivers and um and a chest at the end of the bed that's uh that has a basic magical enchantment to uh make sure that it is arcanely locked um, at the end of the night, and each room has its own unique. Uh, each room's chest and the door to the room has its own unique uh, uh, word that actually allows use of the magical function. Uh, open sesame. <laughs> Newman says to his door. <laughs> it opens. <laughs> Yes. Uh, yeah. I know the words. I can now unlock yeah. all the doors. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you, you guys key. have um, you guys have probably the best night of sleep you've ever had. Oh boy, um, that's that's a tall order. I, I will say. Um, Maybe it's because I'm because, not sleeping with smelly you elves. Paid, paid a oh, <laughs> well, this, excuse everyone, me. Everyone, everyone, roll me a d10. Did they get wasted? I was also the pretty night exhausted, before? so um, yeah, I'm pretty true. sure. I, I, I imagine Bernie was probably yeah. drinking yeah, his very heavily. Rook just kind of expects you guys yeah. <laughs> to be drunk. <laughs> Minimum roll. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. So, Five. Okay. And Laura? A three for me. So this is mostly so the audience knows, um, because that is how many temporary hit points you're going to have. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, as long as I don't have as, exhaustion anymore, as, I'm happy. And yes, so oh, yeah, true. <laughs> anyone, I don't think anyone has multiple levels of exhaustion, but I, I would say the quality of the rest you get here would be enough to remove two levels of exhaustion. Yeah. Rather Good than thing one. you didn't eat any more one. petals yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> um, the the benefits of paying handsomely for for a night's rest. Absolutely, yeah. And yes. plus there's a lot of great alcohol to drink, so that's excellent. Mm. Makes yes. a great heavy night's sleep. Yes. That's for sure. All right, so the morning comes. You Is there anything you would like to do before meeting up yeah, with Cigar? Yeah, I do. Um, I'm going to go talk to, um, oh my god, I forgot his name, it's actually my friend. Braxton? Braxton? Yes. I want to talk to Braxton, but do people want to do something else first? I'm ordering just a room quick service. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> okay. So you so probably sleep off and do that quite easily, yeah. a lot more easily than like if we're staying every in the same other room. time you've tried <laughs> yeah. to do something yeah, sneaky true, so dirty. Because no one else yeah. watching me at all times. Yeah. <laughs> um, something hardy. Something, something, something no fulfilling, sort of. Okay. Like, a, um, just like a buffet to yourself. Yeah, sort of like, oh like you know God. how most restaurants will have different meals, but then they'll have yeah. the big breakfast. Yeah. Which is usually <laughs> like two sausages, yes. hash, like all the jazz. Yeah. He gets the big breakfast. Yeah. So, yeah, so here, they're, they're, rather than having like a buffet, bu- buffet, uh, <laughs> buffet style breakfast, they will bring you uh, the breakfast of your choice. And by default, it's just a kind of more simple, uh, like those still brilliant um, uh, breakfast of like a cereal or 
like a continental breakfast type thing. But there are options that you can pay a little bit extra and so the big, big breakfast. breakfast is one of them. So you <laughs> would probably pay an extra gold piece. Ooh. Yeah, that's um that's fine. Anya just enjoys a regular to. breakfast. Yeah. Um probably spend some time bonding with Havrin. She's not really too doesn't really have plans for this morning aside from getting ready to go. Alright. Yeah. So fair. uh Bertolt's. Yes, yes. So he's gonna um, <coughs> knock in <laughs> A knocking noise on the door. Ah. Oh, yes, Bertie. Hey, hey Braxton. Um, yeah, I didn't get the chance to uh, talk to you about this uh, last time I was here yesterday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, just wanted to uh, talk about um some current developments that I didn't really want to talk about in front of the uh, people that of, I was around. Uh, of <laughs> you course. know what? I can catch of my course. drift. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, can I just come in real quick? Yeah, yeah, I'm just opening up for the day. Absolutely, great. There's like no annoying customers already waiting, like waiting for him to turn the sign around. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Excellent. It's, it's still, what, what is it? I, I don't think we've ever explicitly say said what day, uh, like what day of the week we're on, on yeah, any true. of these days. I don't know. Um, a, a, a day. Yeah. I feel like a demon, sorry, a devil sort of summoning would definitely uh, begin happening on a weekend oh, party yes. time. So yeah. maybe sure. this is the start yeah. of the week. Um, yeah, so it'd be probably Talus Day. So com- uh, Talus Day, I think that's what I called it. The equivalent of a Tuesday, basically. Excellent. Fantasy Tuesday. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Great day to start our descent into Fantasy demon Tuesday. summoning stopping. Excellent. Um, so Bertie kind of just like slinks in real quick into that door and then he like procures um, from out from under his little jacket um, the horrible <laughs> black tentacle book thing. Like, yeah, so <laughs> look at this. Didn't have that last time I was here, I can tell you. It just kind of turned up. The, the presence of it itself isn't all that alarming. Yeah, that, that's that's normal, but I'm the guessing. the appearance <laughs> of it is. Oh, yeah. That's not great. I... I... Got any thoughts? Because I have some thoughts, but I'm really not... I'm not keen on it. I've been doing a bit of reading, and it's uh, it's not great. Yes. Just thought I'd talk with you since, you know, we're uh, on the down low with the, the thing. <laughs> the thoughts are mainly... Panic. Yeah. <laughs> have, yeah. Have you made any more headway in discovering the, uh, uh, s- yeah, the, s- yeah. the actual source? Well, <laughs> so I've been doing some reading, um, and he procures out another little book, which is oh boy, because it's it's very interesting. I've, I've I've not met many warlocks who are unaware of their pact. Yeah. Well, look, you know, it was a it was a dark like. As, as I told you the, the first time, you know, it was, uh, it was really dark. I was just on some dark traveling path, you know, forging my way into the wilderness. And then, yeah, just stuff happened. Right. <laughs> Can't really place it very well, but, um, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so, um, hmm. Yeah, so, uh, yep. He pulls out the little book, The Treatise on the Age of Carnage, um, and he opens it. And points to some of the things that I imagine he's probably annotated and highlighted, well, <laughs> fantasy highlighted since then. Uh. Um, which are obviously the <laughs> terrifying vestige thing <laughs> that, um, oh man. I've written down notes here. This... Yeah, so I'm, I'm having bad thoughts here. <laughs> it's a, yeah. So which, which... Which of these entities do you believe is your patron? This uh, so Zorthram Tathara. Yeah, yeah, that's um. But just it's... kind of fitting in pretty badly. I've been having some strange dreams lately too. That's yes. normal for warlocks, right? Depends on the patron, really. Um, well, that's half good. So I'm glad about that. I mean, most most archfey aren't really a big fan of it. Okay. Um, they, 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 like, they'll do it occasionally, but, um... They're a bit more, you know, yeah. thoughtful about their, uh, the, 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 the sleep uh, quality of the people that channel their powers, I yes. guess. From what I've 
read and heard of celestial uh, patrons, they're, they're more direct, generally. Okay. Um, uh, all right. <laughs> yeah, so it, it varies from patron to patron, but uh, what are these dreams? Well, boy, howdy. Um, kind of weird. Lots of red. Kind of vain, like veiny like the book, I guess. Um, kind of keep seeing, like, presences in them, like, big, unfathomable, super tall, super skinny kind of creatures, um, kind of saying stuff all the time, which isn't great. Stuff like, mother, and freedom, and stuff like that. <laughs> kind of not very encouraging to me personally, I must say. <laughs> give, give me a look at the, the history book again. Yeah, yeah, sure. He um he hands it to to yeah. Braxton. Yeah, and he, he flicks. He's kind of just like the, awkwardly, like he's very uncomfortable. He flicks through the pages dealing with um Zorthrum. Um yes. He says, "I mean, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be impossible, uh, other than the fact that he's supposed to have been destroyed entirely. Yeah, according that's the to thing. This. It's uh... but the whole mother thing seems yeah. to ring true with his relationship to Ruthu. Precisely. So maybe I'm just hallucinating. I guess. I mean, hopefully that's totally not possible. Or it's maybe, just a weird thing. Maybe there's that. Maybe it's a coincidence, and there's some yes. other connection. I agree. It must so be what, a coincidence. <laughs> what, what other words? So, mother. Yes. Uh, oh, oh uh, the catacombs, I believe, Catacomb. is one of the notes I have written down here. And power, oh, of right. course. But I mean, who doesn't? Who doesn't mention power? Oh, right. yeah. Also, kind of off note, but strangely enough, the creature was like a nine out of ten. If you were to roll a dice, and <laughs> it. is that normal? <laughs> Again, depends on the patron, but quite often, yes. These are, oh, these fair enough. are creatures of. Look, if I was an unfathomable entity, these gods I are would talk. <laughs> yes. I'd do that too, to be honest. Yeah, so those are kind of the general words. Also, um, little extra thing. He, like, rolls up his, like, the sleeve of his left hand, I believe. <laughs> Hopefully, that's the right one. And he's like. Obviously, the mark is a lot bigger and more varied than what he would have shown to Braxton before. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of changed. I didn't do that, obviously. Mm. It's kind of just changed. Is that I, normal? I, again, not necessarily normal, but not unheard of. Good, for, good, for, good. For That's great. <laughs> marks to marks gifted by a paper. Oh, marks. I guess branded onto a warlock by a patron. Yeah, that sounds about to, right. Uh, to alter with the um, gifting of more power. Um, okay, that 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 does um that does sit about right. I have become a lot more magical since all yes. this, so that's great, I guess, in a way. <laughs> uh, he pass he passes the term back to the the uh, treatise yes. back to you and. Uh, he looks into your eyes and says, I would be very, very careful, but I think the answers you seek may be in the catacombs. Okay. Just be very careful about it. We don't want you unleashing something by accident. <laughs> don't worry, I'll be very careful. You know, discretion is... Like, that's what I'm really good at. I'm a very careful person. <laughs> All right. But thank you. I really appreciate that. I thought, you know, um, it would be good to, to check in with you since, uh, you know, you know about my, the, the little thing <laughs> that's been oh, going on. And you're very experienced, of course, with all that kind of stuff. <laughs> of course. There's some real cool. legitimate player fear at that sort of <laughs> <Yeah>. foreshadowing. <laughs> Thanks, <terrifying>. Darby. <laughs> Thank you very much, Braxton. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah. Excellent. I, I'll hopefully be back at some point. Um, got some weird hero stuff to accompany with, which is kind of weird. But yeah, um, I'll, uh, I'll, yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. No problem. It's good to talk about these kind of things, you know? <laughs> yes. Keep me updated. Of course I will. Can you, you, can you do, can, have you got enough power to do ascending yet? Ascending? <laughs> Do I, Darby? 
No. No. No, I don't. Yeah. I don't think so. I'm not very powerful. You know me. Yes. Well, um, well, when when you do, um, feel free to contact me anytime. When any, if anything develops. What level spell slot would ascending be? Uh, third level. And oh, it's yeah. usually not a warlock spell, but being a great old one patron, yeah, yeah. it's actually one of your patron spells. So it you is, because yeah, like I can talk into people's heads at this point, but they need yeah, to be quite close yeah, to me. But you can you can choose um, sending as a spell. Nice a spell. Excellent. As a warlock. Well, um, if I do uh, get strong enough to do that, you'll be the first guy I'll call, Braxton. <laughs> Wonderful. Excellent. <laughs> well, thank you. This was a fun chat. Not suspicious at all. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate your discretion as always, of course. Of course. <laughs> it rolls his sleeves back down and, like, stows away all of his little books that he must have strapped to himself, I guess. Good luck, Bertolt. Thank you. Uh, same to you, Braxton. Have a great day. Hope there's a lot of sales in it for you. Ah. I'm just... Sorry. Always. I was just going to say, I'm just going to um, point out a realisation that I just came to that um, Braxton and your patron are both the same level of hotness. <laughs> so there's a possibility. Oh, suspicious. A connection. Oh, no. <laughs> so, um. Oh, suspicious. Yeah. They just, they have some kind of resemblance, Suspiciously I guess. hot. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's a yep. crack ship. They're together somehow. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So. Um, 30 so, scurries off. <laughs> yes. So after breakfast, you'll make your way to meet with Cigar. Um, you are gifted your magic items that were part of your award. Uh, Excellent. I believe, Jake, have you distributed those cards? I most yeah. certainly have. Yes. And the Luckstone is a cat. And yeah. Newman is surprised, <laughs> but the player isn't because he knew about that and it All was right. maybe the main contributor to him getting it. <laughs> So, um, yeah. So, uh, you you are sent through. Um, who who would it have been? So rather rather than uh, the old, uh, ra- rather than through teleportation circle, uh, you you are of course um, gifted your new wagon, which is oh yes. Um, it's like ooh, 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 weird. Which, yeah. Should name well, it. not. So, uh, oh, it's like an old carny kind yeah, of it's like. G- yeah, it's it's the Vistani wagon, wagon uh, model. Uh, for those listening at home, the uh, Knowles's yeah, uh, so deep for cut. Those of you who aren't um, um, tiny baby child millennials, or who <laughs> just have a deep passionate love for the Wizard of Oz, like I do, it's like yes. the. Um, the wagon in the Wizard of Oz. Yes. Absolutely. Where, when she visits the. So it's basically perfect yeah. for Bertie. Yes. Very legitimate. Except it's purple. And, and, and it's yeah. really pretty. It has uh, the roof is painted uh, bas- basically in a very similar Bert-Hulk colour purple. to yeah, yes, uh, Bertie's yeah. coat. Yeah. Yes, Bertie has like stars in his eyes when he sees yes. He's like, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. <laughs> so. Um, you see, you see here with um, Cigar and uh, who was it? Who was the librarian? Um, Cigar and Verona. Um, My there is, Verona. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is uh, a, a human uh, male a figure um, wearing uh, deep orange robes. Um, and he's got what you what you in particular, uh, Newman, would recognise as very uh, Karasi features. Um, but he's human. Yes. Right. No. Kar- I'm thinking of Karasi never mind. being uh, for a second. The denizens of uh, I thought Karasi, Karasi was the race that Newman is, <laughs> but uh, yeah. it's fine. So, I'm just dumb, folks. So yeah, um, darker, um, like mid-brown skin. Um, yeah, uh, he's, although unlike a lot of the Wizards of the Ruins, um, which are most of the mages you would have seen in Karas, uh, he doesn't have his head shaved bald. Um, so, uh, he yeah. looks a lot better for it. Hmm. Yeah, he's, he's an eight out of ten. <laughs> he's, he's pretty dishy. Ah. 
Wonderful. Um, you're here. This is Ulrich, uh, Skull Strike, a uh, resident conjurer oh, of the convocation. You mentioned We've him heard earlier. About you. Yes. Uh, uh, pleasure. Um, so. Your reputation precedes you. I'm glad. Um, so, apparently, you need to get to um, to Wildshade immediately. Yeah, probably yes. not on a boat. Yes. yes. Well, a boat may be too too uh, slow for the. Oh, praise Thethus! That is fantastic. For the purposes <laughs> we need. Hit us up, boy. Thankfully, I am here now, um, and I can prepare a teleportation to send you all to the city. Um, Maybe do not send us immediately into the city as it will raise suspicion and um, we don't want that on our mission. Of course. Um, <laughs> I am a poet and I did not know it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Good one. <laughs> now, um, where is... Where is Anya is in like quite a cheerful mood after having a night's sleep away from everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> that's a mood, that's for sure. Now I I will be able to send you into um into the city or just outside of it. There are many areas of the city that are not yet impacted, but it is spreading out from uh, from the noble district outwards. Um, Whatever will be least suspicious, as we are going under the radar, of I guess. Of course. Um, Do you have any suggestions? Any tips? Something you might know that Cigar doesn't? I'm Hasn't afraid, already told us? I'm afraid that Wild Shade is uh, Cigar's um, cup of tea. Um, he does like his tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Good one! Well, I'm really you. zigging off today. <laughs> Unfortunately, he himself is not really in a place to be able to defend it. That is not what his magic is specialized in. Um, nor, nor is it mine. Um, That's what we're for. I mean, not all of us are magic, but that is what we are specialized in. So. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes... Uh, uh, Magic is handy, but uh, it is not the be all in end all. Um, but of course. Oh, I certainly know that. Yes, but um, we need to get you to Wild Shade. Yes. Um, Post heads, please. Okay, so he prepares um, for a moment, cast teleport on uh, the group of you, including the cart. And Montgomery? Yes. Yes, Montgomery, yes. the best character. And well, jointly with Halfrit. Yeah. And you appear um you appear on a street and uh <laughs> real conspicuous, thanks, dude. <laughs> on, on like a side street. Um Hopefully there's no one here. in the middle of a busy but, street. Everyone <laughs> stops and stares but at you. Can I get everyone to roll initiative, including oh, geez. uh the figure you see in front of you, a very familiar <laughs> Fire Ganassi uh, oh my God. fighting off. Oh. Jeez, you made it really hard for us to derail that meetup. <laughs> <laughs> Literally put a way teleport on him. We run away from Rook instantly. <laughs> or are we rolling initiative to fight each other? So roll, yeah, to roll, fight Rook, yeah. obviously. So, um, what did people get? Rook. I got a five. <laughs> Eleven. Fourteen. Nine. All right. So, 5, 11, 14. Oh boy. 5, 11, 14, 9. So, Rook. Uh, Anya. You Demon. Bertie. And then. What is. What is this guy? Where, where are his stats? Um. Yeah, no, that works. That works. Um. This and. So this this guy has has the initiative, um, but so um, great. Now this so you see um, Rook uh, fighting this figure, uh, about to engage in combat with this figure who is 
uh, robed in uh, in these uh, black robes, uh, and he has a, uh, a necklace around his neck with uh, some sort of symbol you don't recognize uh, in front of it. Um, so he is he is going to start off the. Oh, I need to roll for Tanap too. There's only um, enough room in this town for one person wearing Tanip, a robe. Tanap also got a five. <laughs> and so. my robe's better than yours. I am also wearing a robe. Do you want right. to fight to the death? Is it a robe or is it a cape? Robe, robe. of useful uh, items. Uh, <laughs> great. It's in the title. Come on, there, kids, so. get along. Okay. Oh, we got so some fight ahead of us. It's going to be By laying down a fireball. Oh, Everyone oh, rolling right. a dexterity saving oh, throw. Fireball. Oh yeah, because you are fire. fire. I have resistance. <laughs> and I need the resistance. Oh, yes, because that was something you bought, so you've had time to attune to it. Yes. Um, yeah, so anyone, any gifts, any of the gift items, you haven't had a chance to... Oh, we. Ha- you haven't got any magic items, do you? Um, um, I've won. <laughs> do you want- what is yeah. it? Porno. Um, no, we'll keep this simple. Um, make your axe a plus one axe. Or your, oh, okay. yes. Oh, thanks. Um, um, all right, well, sorry. Plus, I, uh, plus one axe and, uh, and we'll say it also deals 1d6 fire damage. Oh, thank you. Because um, these guys have got a few things, but we'll keep yours simple. Yeah. Can you also please change my initiative to 13, if that makes any difference? Because uh, that was uh, influenced by my luck stones, so. Oh, which... Right. I haven't attuned to it, yeah. so I don't have it. Yeah, so you need um, a short rest to attune. Yeah, no, that's all um, good. But yeah, no, it doesn't really impact it. Uh, Bertie, uh, Rook. So, dexterity saves. What did everyone get? Uh, I got a 18. 18? 11. 11? 12. 12. All right, so uh, the DC was 14, so I believe oh everyone failed except for Anya. Oh, so, that's all right. We're good. We have temporary uh, hit points, yeah, which Darby took away from us points. straight away. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, Anya, who got the most temporary hit points, is we'll the one who dodges lose it. We'll also them all, because yeah. <laughs> you only take half damage. All right, so... So that is 22 points of fire damage to Newman and Bertie, oh, and then 11 to um, um, Anya and Rook, because uh, Rook failed but gets halved. Yeah, and yeah. mine gets halved as oh, well. Oh, yes. Yes. So, so 11 um, to me as can well. Can I assume yeah. that Hafren, because he would have been up higher, or sh- is he gone now? Um, <laughs> no, he... he because he generally, when he is, like, he, just he, relaxed yeah. flying, he's flying up higher anyway, yeah, so she can have a good vantage point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what was I going to look at? Okay. So, um, next is Newman. Oh, boy. All right, so how far away is this guy? Um, he is probably 30 feet in front of you. Oh, well, that's, um, e- that's easy to... To run up to him. Um, yes, yeah, so obviously he's got some fairly powerful range magic. I want to get up close and personal. All right. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just start off with like your cliche stab. All right. All righty. So first attack is probably not going to hit. 14. 14. That, uh, that hits. Nice. All righty. So for that one... Because he hasn't put up his mage armor yet. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, Silly even better. Goose. Silly boy. Alrighty, so. Which reminds me. He's a seven. Nice. Oh, okay. Fishy boy. Uh, so that's just nine magical piercing. Alright. And the second attack. Um, Do I get sneak attack? Sneak for attack reason? because. Uh, 
Oh, uh, she's currently Rook engaged. Rook is okay, engaged. Cool. Excellent. I uh, completely forgot about that. Engaged in combat. Yeah. <laughs> engaged in combat. <laughs> uh, I don't know, maybe Rook has been <laughs> engaged in the likes of the world. Of course, though, since you've maybe seen. Rook is engaged to this guy, and they're having so a what, lover's quarrel. what's girl. the total now? Um, no. <laughs> that, would be, that would be 18. Not 18? her type. 18. Yeah, 18. <laughs> All right. And so, the second attack... Is 20. Dirty. 20, that will definitely hit. Alrighty, and for that one, that is just <laughs> one piercing. <laughs> Magical piercing. Them off hand All attacks. Right. Ooh, ooh. So don't suppose he's an evil fake? Uh no. Yeah. <laughs> um, Alright. Anya. Anya um is going to back away uh to the maximum of her speed, which I think is 35. All right. Um, and then she's going to hit him with her longbow of warning. Or she's going to attempt to anyway. Warning, you mean? Warning, that's what yeah. I said. Sorry, oh. did it sound like warding? It's because I- It sounded I'm... like morning. Oh. That's a cool well, name, though. That yeah. too. Um, so. That would be a longbow that deals radiant damage, I think. Ooh. Or it just works like an alarm clock. Uh, so that is a 22 to hit. Yeah, that'll definitely hit. Excellent. And you do get your sneak attack. Perfect. Because allies engaged with it. We like sneak attack. That is attack a lot more dice house. than Newman sneak <laughs> oh, attack. Oh boy. Hell yeah. So 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 18 piercing damage. <laughs> All right. He's nice. looking pretty damn shaky. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. How dare he use fireball? I like to hear. That's so cliche. Major says they should come up with something new. <laughs> okay, um, like, uh, in her six seconds of speaking time or whatever, she's as a free action, she's just going to be like, Rook, are you okay? <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> All right. So... Um, next is Bertie. Oh, uh, cool. So for Bertie's six seconds of speaking time, which I guess just happens simultaneously for everyone else, he's like, wow, deserted alleyway much? <laughs> um, and he's going to cast Magic Missile, a.k.a. Eldritch Blast. All right. Um, he is going to uh, cast Counterspell on that. Ooh, okay. um, Ooh. And because it's cantrip, it just automatically succeeds. So, not a party sorry about that, that but he's, he's, he's really <laughs> shaky and he... Is that for both, um... Yes, attacks? because it's the yeah, one yeah. spell. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Um, but he's just like, oh, oh, he hasn't experienced that before ever. I, I really miss having a counter spell chain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rook. Alright. It's, it's just the one guy, right? Yes. I don't even need a rage for this. <laughs> oh, yeah, um... She says to Anya, Anya, what are you doing here? Completely ignores you, but right next to her. <laughs> I mean, Anya fucking spoke to her. Yeah, like, yeah she you acknowledged me. The priorities. <laughs> um, I get two attacks now. I'm excited. That's why she shot and then yes. spoke. I'm going to try to um, cut his head off with my great axe. Oh, and please. It, to be honest, you probably will. <laughs> Maybe not. That's a 14 to hit. Yeah, uh, yes, yeah, still no mage armor, so that does hit. Hell yes. yeah. Yes. All right. Decapitate silly, him. Silly mage prioritized damage over. <laughs> yeah. Silly mage fighting with a barbarian. <laughs> well, he thought he was only going to be fighting one that person. That ain't much damage. Yeah. That's four. Six damage, and then I get fire damage. I can lie. Fireball against one person is pretty extreme. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> pretty over One the top. fire damage. <laughs> All right. So... <laughs> Oh yeah, that's gonna... enough. That's ah. enough. He's down. How do you want to deal well, with it? Well, I said I yeah. was going to behead <laughs> him. So can I like kick him to the ground first and yeah. then behead him? So you kick him to the ground, but like you kick, you kick him at his knee, pulling it down mm. so that he's just kneeling on the ground and you just swing execution style oh. um, nice. head off. I have a bigger collection of heads now. <laughs> Are you just still in possession of that other head? I am. I'm holding. You can Actually, see that it's strapped roll, to my back. roll me a wisdom check Ooh. to see if you would still have that head. Well, it, it hasn't been two months yet. Hopefully, no one's still. It's more so. Have you realised that you don't actually need to wait 
that long. Well, I have very low wisdom. That's a three. Three. So yeah, you still have that head. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Never oh letting it boy! Go. Oh, that's very messy. Whoa. Oh, whoa! Rook, who was that man? Uh, and I will answer your question, but um, <laughs> should we tell her why we are here? Uh, we're here to stop this, hopefully. Anyways. Uh, so, do you know who that man is? Because I sure don't. Uh, nope. Okay. I can assume that he is probably something to do with the reason why we are here. So, why are you here? We're here on a secret mission. Do you want to know the secret? Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Oh. Absolutely. You're very trusting, aren't you? Bertie, should we tell her the secret? I feel like she could help. I mean, like, uh, we go way back. Uh, way three weeks back. <laughs> I say yes. That's probably... Uh, well, I guess I'm calculating I'm Probably more like... Probably closer to two. Yeah. <laughs> we got two like weeks the... back. <laughs> oh, okay. Was about you, the... you guys are very trusting of people. Yeah. <laughs> I will not tell well. her if we are not all in agreement. Tanip, what do you think? Um, I, th- I think the more help we can get from trusted sources, the better. Okay, fine. Spill the beans. But oh, don't I already blame said me. Yes, but yeah. What is, what is me half yes. think? Oh, uh, well, Hafren, what do you think, Hafren? <laughs> so you can't get words from Hafren. Yeah. You can get vague senses of yeah. how Hafren's feeling about a thing. And the... the Hafren likes yeah. rooks. Yeah, <laughs> you, you get the feeling that Hafren agrees that Hafren's it seems like, to be a good idea. Friend. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, well, um, since we are all in agreement, I guess... Uh, would you like to help us stop what is going on in this town? Well, uh, it seems to be like there's some people running amok and it's causing, um, quite a bit of damage to just random civilians, so I guess, sure, I'd, I'll there help you put a stop. There has been a murder. A very bad one. A very bad one of many yeah. novels. Assassinations, oh. in fact. That wasn't you, well, was it? Yeah, we You're know you don't like nobles, but like... I wasn't paid to do anything of the sort. Well, that does not confirm that you didn't do any of the sort, but we've chosen to trust you so far. So... Um, I'm just trying to recall from my memory what our mission is. We are to either... Stop. So, I think we're supposed to get the one noble who committed the uh, the murders, who's most likely the head of this whole cultish-looking thing. She is a bad woman. She is of some <clears throat> form of demonic blood. Mm-hmm. Does anyone recall what sort yeah, of woman she is? Wasn't it? Yeah, it's a bad, bad demon lady, basically. <laughs> so it is very bad mm-hmm. that she is in this position of power. So we have to stop her. Uh, we stop her. We stop all of this, hopefully. Yes. Yeah, so do you know what all this is? What they're trying uh, to do here? They basically they kind of want to end the world by New Year's. They want to bring... Fantasy New Year's. They want Fantasy to bring, New Year's. Yeah, cool. They want to bring the <laughs> by, um, devil world into this world, starting here. What's the official name of Fantasy New Year's, Darby? Uh, it's, it's the New Year. <laughs> Yep, that's yep. it. I thought there was a special name for it. There, there was. <laughs> and maybe uh, it's the month. No, it was like um. I think there's not there's not a special name for the like the thirty first of um of of Simmerid, but there is a name for the first day of the year. Yeah, I recall you saying it last episode. Mm. Um. My memory is shocking, right. which is very bad for roleplay purposes when we're trying to recount what we're doing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. It's so like, bad. It's New Year's. So it's oh, right. No, it's just New Year. New Year. Yeah. Oh. First, the first of Salazar is the New Year. First of Salazar. That's yeah. what yeah. I was thinking. Yeah, it was, yeah, the, the yeah so we're going to stop uh-huh. it. Well, things will die. Like, I'll lose a lot of, like, investors. So we got to do that, basically. <laughs> yeah. That's very ambitious of them. Mm. How did, on Earth... Did you even, like, find out about this? Well, uh, we have connections. Did you ever meet Cigar? No. <laughs> he is a very talkative and somewhat mad tea man. <laughs> tea uh, man. Roll, roll me a history check. <laughs> That's a one. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, you, 
no, you have never heard of Seagal before. No, I'm not from this country. No. Uh, be glad, because he is something else. <laughs> but his tea is magnificent. Magnifique? <laughs> I'll have to try it sometime. Uh, we tried to get him to fill a flask with tea, but he was very reluctant. Which is fine, I guess. <laughs> Disappointing, but, but fine. that is a shame. But uh, long story short, uh, this place is going to hell, or more so, <laughs> I should say that hell is going to this place. <laughs> yeah. I see. I like that. That's, Thank a, good, you. that's a good pun Thank there. You. Me as a, as a player has like sort of been boiling that down to a oh, poor yes. joke. So yeah, I feel like that's I did alright. <laughs> And, and then you ruined it by explaining the fact that you've been boiling it down. Well, I just wanted people to appreciate the amount of work and I put as, into that. As, <laughs> as Newman says that the hell is coming to this place, you hear an explosion of fire in the distance. Oh, oh no! There it is! <laughs> Maybe we should, uh... Go? Uh, I want to. I want to take this robe. I want to. Want a close look at this robe. Now, before you said I didn't, we didn't recognise the symbol, but upon closer inspection, does something trigger in Newman's memory or something. Yeah, let's Looking loot at that this particular body, symbol. but for educational purposes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there's nothing, there's nothing uh, of real value on this body. There's, oh, there's a well, dagger. There's. I've lost interest. Didn't have like a name uh, a, in these back, on his back tag. like a single <laughs> yeah. potion of, uh, I take his of dagger. healing. Um, just a standard one. Um, the, da- the dagger one looks ritualistic but it doesn't seem to have any sort of enchantment to it yeah just a normal dagger um, that's fine I'm collecting them yeah. now <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, considering how many are on my robe of useful items uh, oh nice a few <laughs> yeah um, um, yeah so this robe yeah so um, so the robe the robe is pitch black basically um, there's not much uh, detail that you can be gleaned from the robe. What you can glean, though, what you can glean some detail from if you were to uh, look into it and have the right knowledge uh, would be the act- the the pendant mm-hmm. around his neck. I'll have a roll for that. Right. So what am pe- I rolling? The pendant itself is... Um, is... Is a um, is a six-pointed star like it? It's a disc that has a six-pointed star in the center of a five-pointed star. Um, okay. Would I have any knowledge of? Roll any- me a religion check. Anyone who, anyone here can roll a religion check. See if they. That's an eight. So probably not. I was thinking maybe it would be linked to a certain 18 something. 18 for Bertie. Yeah, no, no one has 18 11. 18 is yeah. all yours. I got a 12. Yeah, 18 for Bertie, okay. yeah. 11. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so you, you, th- you three gather that, like, the <laughs> five-pointed star, especially in the way that it's set out, is um, is associated with devils and devil worship. Um, the construction of the six-pointed star, though, uh, to you, Bertie shouts something that you you've come across reading in, uh, like come across from your readings. Um, it's 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 because the thing too is that it's not it's not like a nice clean uh, six pointed star like the mm. Star of David. Yeah. It's a very jagged, um, like like a pentagram but with six points rather than five. Yeah. yeah. Um, very very aggressively. Uh, like the the points are very aggressive and it is not at all symmetrical. It looks very, very evil. Um, pointy points. Yes. You 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 realize like being a devil type thing. There's probably some logic to like the the relative lengths of the points that that makes sense to to the, the iconography, but it's not something that the average person would be clued in enough on. However, Excellent. the the six pointed star within the five pointed star um, is typically a suggestion of this being something that comes from the. Uh, it, it tends to be a connection to the sixth layer of hell, um, Malbolge. Um, uh, well, um, 
because uh, you know <laughs> religious stuff. Um, I've uh, I, yeah, that's um, kind of got to do with like the sixth layer of hell, which I'm pretty sure is kind of what this whole summoning thing is like to well, do with. So yes, not great. I'll I'll keep the pendant for safekeeping, shall I? I actually have an idea regarding that. Oh yeah, he's like he's like halfway got down his sleeve. <laughs> so the sixth, the, yeah. the sixth layer of hell is uh, ruled by a, a the arc. The Archdevil Glacier. He also mentions that. <laughs> uh, well, we are meant to be uh, as incognito as possible on our mission here, correct? Oh, yeah! So, why don't we take this rope and this symbol, and if we need it in some form of future situation, uh, one of us, most likely you or I, Bertie, as I am not so sure that a Ganassi <laughs> or a Catman <laughs> would uh, yeah. necessarily fit in, but uh, perhaps we could pass as one of these followers of the lady. That's actually really good thinking, and um, I might head it over to you then because I've got a little something that can help myself with that anyway. Uh, so uh, you you can take those. Do the ropes have hoods? Uh, yes. To help with the petaling, uh, as all good cultist robes do. <laughs> yes. 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 Anya. Dons it preemptively, just in case. Cool. Right. And then Bertie mm-hmm. kind of just like, I don't know, touches his shoulder, then spreads out to his arms, and then he is going to use disguise self on himself. All right. And no. you're going to provide the robe through that mean, those means. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So he's going to make himself look like he's wearing that robe, and he's also going to change his appearance slightly. All right. So he's going to look more like, I don't know. Now, is that one of your... That's one of your cleric spells, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a cleric spell. So it's your slightly lower DC. Yeah, um, yeah. That's 14. Um, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. He's going to look a bit more like a... Um, I don't know. Just slightly different. Yeah. More like um, the guy who's laying in the ground. Yeah, actually, he's going to make himself look exactly <laughs> like that guy. Yeah. yeah. All right. Anya, for the first time in the time that you guys have known her, removes her um, eye cloth. <gasps> Newman pays attention. Newman is very interesting. And robes it. Uh, well, not robes it, but uh, puts it pockets within it. her robes. Like, pockets yeah. it within her robes. Oh. Um, what do we see? So... When her eyes are open, they're completely cloudy white. Uh, But that's not what draws your attention. What draws your attention is these arcane scars that are centred on her eyes that are just uh, catering out like lightning from where her eyes are. There would probably be some more like mundane damage in yeah. that area like oh, as yeah, if there was massive damage amount of as well cloth, but, but around the eyes themselves yeah mm-hmm. themselves Jeez. there seems to be some sort of yeah arcane i mean like the skin um, itself aside from the sort of arcane scarring um is like red and patchy and just not okay um yeah. is do the do the symbols of the of the runes look familiar? Does they're not they're not runes. They're just like, like lightning scars. You can uh, tell they're not yeah. scars that Normal are caused scars. by yeah. um, like traditional Jeez. mundane means. Mm-hmm. Um, oh boy. I feel like um, this would be more fitting in of her followers. So apologies for any discomfort. <laughs> Bernie like turns around after he's magicked himself into the sky. He's like, oh, 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 uh, oh boy. Well, wow, is that the weather? Oh uh, yeah, that looks great, Anya. Um, yeah, I think that's a great idea. Excellent idea. Yeah, she, she, you look very nice. Yeah, she's just like a little awkward because she doesn't really know how to take that. And she's like, um, I think that uh, maybe, uh, Hmm. It, we should have a plan, I guess, for if we stumble across any other followers. Well, not that we are actually followers, but... Uh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, um, <laughs> if anyone asks, uh, Rook, yeah. Newman, you are our prisoners. So if you see someone, maybe put your hands behind your back like they are bound. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's a good idea. Did you, um, like, did this guy just start attacking you, or did you hear anything before that happened, Dora? <laughs> Darby? Darby? <laughs> um, so, yeah, so this... Penis and word pitch. This, this <laughs> is... So, before you... Before these guys showed up, you were kind of... You'd spotted this, uh, this figure behaving suspiciously, mm-hmm. and thought... This seems suspicious and started following and oh, okay. basically just before they showed up he noticed you were following him oh, and see. started to basically prepare like his spell to oh, okay. um to deal with you yeah um interesting mm-hmm. now my one concern in this situation is that um there i mean this is wild shade is a rather large city. We may come across other adventurers, and they might attack you and I. <laughs> it's true. That In is which a concern. Case, Rook. Yes. Please plead our case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no yeah, problem. That's it. They're not going to believe us if we say, "Oh, we are not the bad guys." When we are dressed <laughs> as the bad guy and towing around the prisoners. <laughs> You know? I don't know about how trustworthy I come across as, but I'll do my best. I mean, like, the word of the uh, quote-unquote prisoner <laughs> is probably more trustworthy than the word of the captain. That is quite true. Excellent, excellent. I, There's no way this could go wrong. I guess we should try and find out where um, the woman is. <laughs> I, I don't... I've forgotten her name completely. If it uh, is... Desdemona. Desdemona. Oh, all right, I'm going to write it down. Should we head towards that explosion that happened before? I mean... Maybe it is worth investigating? Well, Let's see if anyone's in Do trouble. we reckon that's a danger we should go away from, Darby? <laughs> or something worth investigating? I mean, it's should probably a danger, but it's probably... A danger worth investigating? A, a danger associated with like, what you're here to investigate. Hell yeah, I'm going straight to that danger. <laughs> yeah. um, Jake, just to catch you up. Uh, if we get... this, If we run into any more followers, pretend to be... Prisoners? Yep. yep. I thought this was going to be the case as soon as you suggested <laughs> wearing that. I was like, so pause like, behind your back. Yep. Probably going to have to. Uh, like, yep. Cool. I get some rope ready. <laughs> true. True. All right. Just have it like hanging off my waist. Yeah. All right. So um, you start heading towards the source of the explosion. Um, my stomach just decided it wanted to um, yell at me for no reason. Uh-huh. So if the audio picked that up, apologies. <laughs> no, that was the sound of devils. Oh, yeah. That was the sound of yep, devils. it was the sound <laughs> of... <laughs> they, yeah. That's exactly what my stomach sounded like. <laughs> um, yeah, so you see... Um, you, you see, uh, as, as you make your way through the city, you see that there is there is panic. Um, because of course there is a massive explosion just happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and you're walking through again, like you continue to search through the city and another explosion. In the same area? Off, um, roughly, probably a bit, a bit, uh, further, uh, get, getting a bit closer to the more, uh, middle class and working class areas of the city. Um, need to find my notes because I have way too many notes at this point. <laughs> um, yeah. um, but um, what you do what you do see um, as well is uh, these figures um, out, out front are these two uh, two humanoid uh Clearly, um, like, clearly mortal beings. Um, so what, one of them a, uh, one of them a, what would it be? Uh, um, what, one of them, uh, a, a half elf, the other a, um, the other kind of obscured by how low the hood is. 
Um, but it is not their presence that is the most interesting thing about the group you see uh, walking um, through the city. It, um, as, as if nothing were going on, or at least as if they weren't in a panicked state of mind. Cool um, guys, don't look at explosives. <laughs> <laughs> what, what you do notice is that they have each of them on their shoulder a uh, red uh, s- stick thin winged creature um, that has a very devilish looking face to it um, and behind them is this uh, tall purple fleshed uh humanoid shaped um but something tells you that he's not of this plane um being with uh o- only really um bits and pieces of armor but uh, <coughs> most mostly skin exposed with a beard of snakes oh this guy's uh, bad purple flesh yeah. and a beard of and snakes um <laughs> oh yeah how attractive is he this Ten. He's a ten. Oh, oh, he is a purple potty. From Look, you said snake beard, and I'm like, this guy is, is definitely dead. gonna be hot. Or, or <laughs> What's he wearing? They're snake-like tendrils um, that are kind of spiked at the end. Um, oh, hot. <laughs> now, Bertie, from your role on identifying the like the yep. the sigil before and yep. knowing that. Uh, a cult of Glacier or uh, the, yeah, the he, he knows all about technical sure. is likely involved yeah. um, <laughs> with a patron like yours. So that's it. Um, but you you recognize this as a creature known as a Barbazoo. Um, a Barbazoo, you say? <laughs> or Barbazoo. Uh, B A R B A Z U. Otherwise I say as known, I Google him. <laughs> com- commonly known uh, as a bearded devil. Oh, oh yeah, that's not great. Yeah. Um, oh, boy. He looks a little something like purple dude here. Oh, jeez. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, indeed. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh um, yeah, he does look pretty. How badass. do you, how do you spell him again? So, a bearded devil would be what you look for to get the picture. Yeah. Um, Heavy metal. Oh, he is a funny. So, <laughs> can I get everyone to roll for initiative, please? But but what about our clever yeah, disguise, disguise Darby? Yeah, come on. Well, you might you might avoid combat with them, but just <laughs> just in the panic. Yeah, yeah. Just in the panic, and there might be stuff that happens that involves <laughs> initiative being needed to roll. Okay. Um, Look, that's not great, but sure. That's um, very great, actually. What a waste. Um. <laughs> I may be leading initiative and all I'm going to do is put rope around my hands. <laughs> <laughs> if we have initiative based True. turns yeah. in this encounter, we don't know. <laughs> I mean, Birdie or Newman could seduce this person. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. Right. It's happening. It's on. <laughs> Yeah, what other spells do I have? We gotta do it. We just gotta. It's, we have to. We <laughs> have roll. to fuck the giant. As the non-lesbian guy. characters yeah. here. We have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, true. Do it for the team. I yeah. mean, he's purple. He's Bernie. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. it's his fave color. <laughs> oh dear. And he's a tentacle, <laughs> like snake things. <laughs> He's a ten to cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, All right. Uh, so, twenty-five to twenty. I got twenty-four. Oh, twenty-four. Nice. Nice. That's great. You are so prepared to die. Oh, and I got a twenty as well. Ooh. Non-net, All right. obviously. Um. All right. Uh, fifteen to twenty. Sixteen. Sixteen. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> 
Did that wasn't a cold. That was just the sarcastic cough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Thirteen. <laughs> so that, that's great. So did you roll for Tanit? Uh, yeah. Can't forget our girl. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Oh yeah, Tanip. She's 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 all right. <laughs> all right. She's good. And on that note, because of the time, we are gonna take our break there. Oh, Sweet. good, yeah. excellent. Right. See you next episode. See you next Thanks, next guys. guys. Where we fuck the purple guy. Oh, oh yes, <laughs> Bertie. You'll have like this R-rated. <laughs> he rolled his sleeves up. <laughs> yeah. Oh the no. Guy. I was just gonna fuck him up. Like, I don't know about you guys, but yeah, I'm not I'm not going in with you that guy. It's up to Bertie. Spidey is just there. Bertie, it's up to Bertie. Bertie, it's on you. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) jeez. Sorry for listening, guys. (laughs) Sorry for listening. Yeah. See you next time. (laughs) See you. (laughs) All right.